One thing I hated about my old miter saw station was having scrap cutoffs laying all over the place. So I cooked up this idea, a scrap hole. Directly below the hole is a recycling container that holds all that scrap. And once it's full, it goes right to the burn pile. This is my sanding block of choice. It's just a belt sander belt fitted around a 2x4. I love it because I don't have to mess around with mounting sheets of sandpaper on store-bought blocks. My 2x4 sander removes lots of wood in a hurry and it's simple just to slide the belt around to expose fresh paper. To make one, hook the belt over a length of 2x4 and make a mark at the other end. Cut the 2 by 4 to length and nip off the corners at 45 degree angles. It should be a bit snug, but you shouldn't have to fight it to get the belt on. If it's too loose, start over and try it with a little longer board. Too tight? Just nip a little off the end of the 2 by 4 Make your own belt sanding block and I guarantee you'll use it all the time. When you need to divide up a board into thirds, fourths, or even fifths, you don't need to do any math or work with fractions. Just use a carpenter square or your tape measure. I want to mark this sheet into thirds, so I just choose any number that's divisible by three that's convenient and hold the square or a tape measure at an angle across the board with that number at one edge. In this case, I'll use 18 inches. A third of 18 is 6, and 2 thirds is 12, so I'll make a mark at both spots. Use those marks and a square to draw your lines. Choose a number that's divisible by 4, like 20 inches for fourths or fifths, divisible by 6 for sixths, and so on. This trick works on any wood no matter how wide it is. If I need to find the exact center of a narrow board, I just use my eye and a pencil, never a tape measure in math. I estimate just short of the middle and lock the pencil and fingers in place and draw a line using my ring finger fingernail as a fence along the edge of the board. Holding that hand configuration in place like a scribing compass, I flip the board around and draw another line from the other edge. Now I just use my eye to mark the center between those lines. Once you get used to this method, you'll be able to get within a 32nd of an inch every time, almost instantly. If you have some light hand sanding to do, here's a clever way to fold sheets so you can use the entire sheet with no fuss. Fold the sheet in half, both ways creasing each fold as you go. Then make a tear halfway through one side and fold it up again. This method makes it easy to use all of the surfaces efficiently, and since it's folded with the granule sides adjoining the smooth sides, the granules never rub together and wear away while you're sanding. When one side starts wearing out, unfold the sheet and then refold it back up again to expose a fresh side. <laughs>